sulfural and uh, diethanol and uh, formic acid. But uh, this topic is only for purification of purpura, uh, production and purification of purpural from oil palm and tea fruit bunch. If uh, if you uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the empty fruit bunch, this is on the right side. This is the the fibers of the what we call it tankos or, or in English empty fruit bunch. This is the fiber, and if you do the hydrolysis, then uh, with its result with the hydrolyzate, which contain a lot of uh, sugars residues, and also this is the the cellulose uh, residue with the solid, which is a solid waste. So we know that Indonesia and Malaysia has be, uh, are among the the bigger the biggest uh, 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 CPO product production producer in the world. Uh, in fact, they are the biggest two in the world. So, and the, the number of the amount of uh, CPO production keep on uh, increasing. And this we can see here that the production is very very high. It's about uh, 60 million ton uh, every year uh, in, the, in this year. And I think this is this beca has become more. If we see here, it's already 75 uh, million ton in, in this year. Um, and there are also this, while this keep been increasing because this is a big, huge scale uh, uh, business. For Indonesia alone, it's about 20 to 32 billion. US dollar, and we have in Indonesia about 17 million hectare, and Malaysia, oh, sorry, it's a bit uh, scattering here. Malaysia is about six, uh, sorry, I have to switch off uh, my uh, handphone. Uh, okay, and there are also some environmental issues that we have to bear, we have to solve. Uh, one is what, that we have to reduce waste to almost zero. If we can, if, if we can, uh, deal with the solid waste treatment, uh, the solid waste of, of this uh, empty fruit punch, then we can reduce to the waste to almost zero. So if we can use it as the uh, fertilizer, of course, and it can be increase the soil fertility, or we would like to also to, uh, but there are also some other issues like uh, uh, that, the CPO plant, uh, the, the palm, palm, oil palm uh, industries has not very uh, clear about this uh, fertility issues and soil fertility issues. But uh, of course, there are also, also uh, greenhouse gas effects, uh, issues uh, surrounding the oil palm. But then if we can deal with this solid waste, then we can uh, deal with this issues as well. There's also some other issues as social and economic issues, but I don't want to go to go too far from to this issue. Uh, now we see the, here the mass balance of the uh, oil palm production. If we have fresh fruit punch, one ton, for example, then we end up with the empty fruit punch around 23 to 28% of empty fruit bunch. This is, this is quite a lot. And the, the same amount, uh, and in fact, it is the same amount with the CPO production that we they produce. So it's about one to one or one to two uh, uh, ratio of the uh, empty fruit bunch to the CPO production. So say, let's say that we have production 75 million ton uh, this year. Then we have also the, about the same amount if it, it is not more than that. Um, the composition is very, we know that the empty fruit bunch um, uh, and uh, 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 palm kernel, also front, and oil palm front, stem, uh, from then we have cellulose, hemicellulose, lignin, and some ash. But the cellulose is very high here in the empty fruit bunch, uh, and also in the stem, but because the stem is not regularly uh, cut, uh, but the empty fruit bunch is regularly generated, then we have, uh, have to deal with this very much. Uh, we have also here the lignin is a bit high here, 23, which make it a bit different, uh, difficult to, to deal with the empty fruit bunch, especially when we have we would like to reduce the size of, of it to, in order to process further. Uh, but uh, if we know that we can produce something 
So here, for example, here I got uh, this topic today is a purpura. Purpura can can be produced from from this empty fluid bunch. Uh, this purpura is used in pharmaceutical, cosmetic resin and cleaning compound industries, and also it, it is used as an extraction agent, solvent, organization agent, flavoring agent, and different uh, utilization or application of this purpura. That's why the demand in Indonesia is keep on increasing. And although the price here, you can see here, the uh, sorry, I, I would like to have, uh, yeah. If you see the price here, a uh, bit fluctuated here, but then uh, the, during the last 10 years, it's increasing. The price is increasing. And what is, what is important is that is in Indonesia, we needed it a lot. And unfortunately, we still import it almost 100% of it. But uh, we know that we have uh, to do something with this and we can do it with the uh, empty food punch. And the application, uh, as, as uh, explained before, this is uh, how, how, we, how we apply the, the furfural for. This is uh, for fuel additive, for specialty chemicals, low cost biodegradable solvent, plasticizer, et cetera. And we, have, we can also make it to different uh, kind of uh, uh, chemicals out of uh, furfura. So this is why we call it, we can call it furfura as the building block that is very, very important in, in term, uh, this is the terminology which is very important in petrochemical industries or in chemical industries. Uh, well, this is, uh, with this, we can produce any other uh, product from, from this furfura derivatives. Now, uh, what we have done here in our lab, uh, we have done the, the lab, skill research and also we have started to do the optimization and we have finalized the optimization i would like to show you today and we have done also uh, we have started the the pilot scale product so this is how, how it uh, i should put it in the, the earlier before this, this is the hemicellulose uh, from the hemicellulose we produce uh, silos uh, and then from the silos uh, with the, with the hydrolysis here, we can produce uh, furfura. So, but we have to be careful that uh, furfura can be can also be produced uh, can also be further reduced by hydrolysis with the with the with plenty of hydrogen or uh, donor here. Uh, it can be further down uh, reduced to levolinic acid. Uh, in fact, uh, level of acid price is higher than purpura, but the demand is much lower than purpura, especially in Indonesia. So far, the, the demand is very, very low. Uh, so, so we have to be careful when we would like to produce purpura. We don't have, uh, we have to be very certain with the uh, operating condition. That's what I would like to, to explain uh, later on in this uh, presentation. Uh, this is these are the the bottle with the uh, hydrolysed product from different runnings uh, in a and b this is a, the levolinic acid or la uh, mixtures and uh, this is a c and d this is a furfural mixtures so we can see here that the furfural color is much darker than the levolinic acid uh, so this is the optimization that we have done in in our simulation and also in our lab using both lab and simulation. This is grinding, extraction. Uh, this is, of course, to reduce the size and to mix with the, this is, this is the pretreatment. We, we, we can mix with, with the sodium, sodium hydrides, hydroxide, and with the filtration, we can get the, uh, the bottom uh, lines here is the sodium hydroxide, water, and lignin. But we want to continue with uh, with the cellulose and semicellulose, the the waste, the the solid part of it, and then we just uh, we we hydrolysis again with a very strong uh, sulfuric acid, and then uh, neutralization for with the sodium hydroxide, and then clarification. Then we we end up with different product here. For uh, in the top one here, what we would like here to have is a furfura, but we uh, we. Uh, Formic acid is always produced as a side product. So, uh, as I said before, we can also produce ethanol, but this line is not very uh, economical in, in this moment. So, we have done the furfura uh, uh, 
product versus reaction time, acid concentration and temperature optimization by using response surface methodology. This is the result here, very nice uh, curve here that you can see the effect of reaction. Uh, this is, uh, sorry, it's is in Indonesian language, is a reaction time here in this axis. And this is the uh, acid concentration in molar. And this is the furfular uh, produce. So you can, you can see that there is a certain uh, certain uh, location or certain uh, optimum condition. The, the, the same the same as the result is also that we have seen that, that, that there is a certain uh, condi operating condition for the optimum uh, production of furfura with the effect of reaction time and uh, the, the temperature reaction here, the reaction temperature here. And this is also the, so the temperature, uh, uh, the reaction temperature and the concentration of the acid in molar. So uh, if we compare our result with others, the others with the green one, and this is our result. Our first result was uh, yeah, in the middle of this, of, of other, but then we increase again our result and then we get a uh, very high, uh, very high uh, yield here, 24.5%. From the hemicellulose, it means that we can, uh, we have done the optimization that we we use uh, more. Uh, we can uh, use uh, hemicellulose. Uh, we can produce uh, furfural out of hemicellulose more than the other uh, result research. Mm -hmm. And from the from the term from the point of view of uh, raw material. Uh, this is five percent, and it's uh, yeah, it's a, a little bit slightly lower than what uh, Raman and Gananso in, in, in six years ago found. But this is uh, okay so far because we got the uh, the high the higher hemicellulose uh, yield, furfural uh, yield from the hemicellulose. So we have done also the single factor effect curve on furfural. This is uh, again concurrent with the. Uh, this is to to. Confirm the result from the double uh, for, from the response surface methodology. Then for for the to to optimize again, we have we have done the kinetic studies to be very sure about the the optimization. Then we 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 did we did the kinetic studies uh, that we have uh, published in this uh, paper. If you like to see it, then you can go to this uh, paper. And this is the first we did a separate kinetic model for furfural and lavolenic acid, which is uh, silent furfural and re resinification uh, uh, products. Uh, in our uh, experiments and previous experiments, we didn't we didn't find any uh, silos, so we didn't do any uh, model for the silos production uh, furfural production from the silos, but we got only silent. Here, yeah, then this is the furfural reaction. Uh, the, the, this is how we model, uh, we uh, der der derive the, the model of the furfural production. And this, then the second uh, kinetic model that we have done is the simultaneous one for uh, levulinic acid and furfural. This is how it, it is from the empty food branch of palm oil to glucose and to, to produce humans and uh, hydroxymethyl furfural and uh, levulinic acid and uh, formic acid. And this is what we would like, this is the, 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 uh, the pathway that we would like to have it here, the furfural and resignification products. So this is uh, how we derive the, uh, the, the model, the mathematical model for the furfural production. And we also did uh, the kinetic parameter estimation I used it for both for both uh, models, separate kinetic and simultaneous kinetic model, and this these are the uh, the equation for that. So what interesting here is that we compare also with the others, and our result is uh, quite quite good, especially with uh, when we compare with with other low here. But this is quite quite interesting that we got a uh, uh, very nice result compared to others. Compared to barley, especially and switch switchgrass uh, uh, raw materials, this is the raw materials, and we got uh, palm oil and fruit bunch. We got the higher uh, uh, hemicellulose and lignin, and also this is from the this is from the retreatment. 
Now, uh, this is this this are the result that we we do the, the leveling acid optimization result between experimental. We found that there with, with different uh, temperature and also molar uh, acid uh, concentration. Uh, so we we found different result here. Why we did why, why we did the leveling acid because uh, while why why we did the leveling acid while we would like to have the purpura because. As we know from previous uh, reaction equations, that if 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 the they, they are on the same uh, uh, nephrotic acid is produced from from the pento uh, from the hexose, which is a cellulose base, and furfural is produced from the uh, hemicellulose. So they both together on the same reactor, but we would like to have more furfural than uh, nephrotic acid. So that's why we have to know the characteristic of the lefranic acid uh, kinetics. Then this is the result to compare with others, and this is quite good actually. Uh, the activation energy and the acid uh, reaction order is uh, yeah quite similar to to uh, the, the acid reaction order is a bit uh, different in this one, but uh, the other one is uh, quite quite a good result. So this is the kinetic parameter for uh, lefranic acid production as well uh, from our result, and we compare with with, with others here. So uh, this is the furfural optimization results. So we see here uh, different temperature, different molar, as a different uh, purpura production. But if we see, it's very easy here. This this one, two, three is quite good. But actually, uh, this part is uh, more uh, the, the model is uh, quite uh, fit with the with the with the experimental data. This is the model. The line is the model, and the the, the dots are the experimental data. So if we do this the, together, uh, we compare both uh, uh, curves, then we see that with uh, with with the same uh, with the operating condition. We can get uh, see here the uh, the the block here is the sorry uh, the block is the lefranic acid. Uh, so if this condition we can we sh we will end up with more lefranic acid than furfural. Uh, but if we do it uh, here in this area, we can produce uh, more furfural. Uh, more furfural than lefranic acid. So we have to be very, very careful with these uh, conditions. So here also produce more uh, furfural than lefranic acid. Uh, so with, with this, uh, I can say that this, uh, this is very good for the furfural. And this is all 20 minutes. 20 minutes is very good for, for furfural. Uh, but uh, the yield is higher here. Okay. So we choose here. Uh, we, 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 we did the calculation again uh, for, for our production and lefranic acid production with the, with the separate and simultaneous. We compare uh, between separate and simultaneous and also the acid reaction order. We got that uh, uh, the results are very, uh, very good. That can show this is the conclusion this is probably very important here because to, to see the to see the uh, graphic is uh, very conf uh, a bit confusing but here we can find that, that we obtain the maximum yield of lefranic acid is about uh, 52.1 percent more at 170 uh, for 90 minutes but for the 20 minutes we have we can have more furfural than lefranic acid so if you would like to produce uh, furfural uh, we we will we have less uh, acid than uh, here. So if we increase the acidity, then the lefranic acid is produced. So we have to keep this uh, not only the operating condition, and uh, but also the the concentration of the acid. So both uh, are very very important. The timing is this uh, the temperature, and also the acid concentration. Now the, the last part is that we, we do the purification. You know that in in, uh, in biomass uh, to valorization, uh, so, uh, the raw material is very cheap, uh, but uh, even it can be zero, uh, the price is zero. 
uh, the production or the, the upstream is uh, quite uh, simple and not very expensive. But because of uh, the hydrolysis contain a lot of uh, products or metabolites or anything uh, side products in the in the, in the mixture, then we have to purify. Then this come uh, the cost are very high. So that's why we have to do the the modeling of vapor liquid equilibrium uh, for rural purification from oil palm and beetroot bunch and hydrolysis. Uh, in this work, we we did the Uniquac model. We used the Uniquac model. Uh, this has been done, and actually we are preparing. Uh, we we are preparing the uh, uh, the analysis for, for the, the, the publication for the the other models. But because the other two models are not ready yet, I just want to show this this uh, the Uniquac model. So uh, in this is a two software I use for for VLA modeling, vapor liquid equilibrium modeling. We use the Microsoft Microsoft Excel. This is this is manual. Uh, calculation and we put the function and also the MATLAB uh, R2021 20, uh, by MathWorks. Uh, the Microsoft Excel is used for was used for VLA modeling and quantitative cal calculation of the model's suitability, while MATLAB uh, were, was used for curve visualization of the modeling. In the study, the Uniquark model will be applied on the furfural and water mixture distillation data that we got from uh, this publication from Curtis and Hart. A very old publication, but a very good one. And the Unicorp model uh, equation uh, for VLM will be as follows. This, these are the how we do the, the the math works here. The modeling is a bit a bit complicated for for you to for us for for all of us to to follow. Uh, but this is uh, actually uh, uh, can be done in our uh, calculation in our modeling. This is how to to the how to be, see the uh, sorry this I have to I have to re, re, remove this <laughs> and this is the partial pressure of the component and this is the liquid mole fraction as we know that this, the partial pressure of the component is uh, depending on the this uh, variable that is liquid mole fraction. And this is the partial vapor pressure of the component, which, which is uh, uh, which is on the table, and then activity coefficient. Uh, and also, the partial vapor pressure can be calculated from the Antoine equation by using this uh, this equation. The Antoine uh, the Antoine is very popular for for the calculating the vapor, partial vapor pressure. Then our result is uh, fitted in in the, the curve. Uh, this is the experiment with the x dots here, and this this line is the the model. So this, this is quite good actually in, in the beginning uh, for 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 a, for a start. Yeah, but we have to compare with other model, of course. Uh, but in this in this time, I just want to show you that uh, uh, the average uh, deviation is sorry, it's not here. The average deviation is zero point zero nine five four. And this is the uh, uh, the uh, root square uh, values calculated by Unicoc model is uh, very low here, but this doesn't matter because uh, most mostly people use this uh, average deviation as uh, the parameter to to see if the the model uh, the model is uh, the, is quite good to, to quite fit to the to the experiment. So if we can, uh, for example, here we compare the Unicoc average deviation comparison uh, that have been used by by other uh, researchers that our result is very good uh, actually with, with, the, with the others too. So uh, we can say here that you know, based on the VLA modeling of furfural and water distillation data, uh, a VLA curve has been successfully developed with the Unicoc model. Uh, the quantitative analysis shows that this model has an average deviation of 0 0.0954 and a an, uh, root square value of uh, 0 0.297. These values are acceptable mainly due to the error that does not come to close to, to one. Uh, uh, but but that's uh, still still acceptable with, with the with the, if we compare with other. It also shows that the Unicorp model can be used for VLA modeling of furfural and water distillation as the representative of OPFP hydrolysis solution. Further studies must be conducted to acquire a better and accurate model. 
I just want to come back a little bit here with the with the R. Uh, it's it's the root root square. It means that how different it is with the with the uh, with the the graphic the, the model and the, the experiment. But with with the average deviation, we can see that that they are following uh, very good uh, very good uh, curves. So with this, I I conclude my this uh, my uh, presentation. I just want to show you that the latest publication of our research group together with the Malaysian uh, Professor Suraini Abdulaziz from the UTM, uh, UPM, I mean, and also from Faisal Ibra Muhammad Faisal Ibrahim and uh, Dr. Lai Yi Tang. This will be published published in January 2022, the next year. And we get the book uh, entitled Biorefinery of Oil Producing Plants for Value Added Products. Uh, thank you very much for allowing me to. Uh, to deliver my presentation, and I hope you you uh, get the good uh, uh, one. Thank you very much. Uh, with this, I return it to uh, the moderator. Well, thank you very much, Professor uh, Gozan. Uh, it's always interesting discussing the application of something like biomass in our daily human needs. You are talking about the optimization of uh, food flow. Yeah? So, uh, for the audience who wants to ask Professor Gozan, you can re you can write down uh, through the share uh, through the chat room um, with the format of uh, mg underscore name underscore your institution and underscore the questions. So I will read out your question at the end of the session for Professor Gozan. Thank you again for Professor Mr. Gozan. And then we are, uh, we'll hear the next presenter, 